I do think that trans women have every right to compete in women's sports. When trans women are on hormones, the hormones break their body down. Having gender affirming surgery breaks down the body. And so I think we really need to be educated before we jump to a conclusion that trans thing. women are stronger than cis women in sports. Hi, everybody. Uh, I find it interesting that you assume the people who disagree with you are uneducated. And exactly, I, I just said that. Out that. Why would you think someone is uneducated because I disagree with you? Women do happen to have a biological advantage against biological women. Uh, even though you aren't taking hormones and that does start to change your body and level things out, we're talking about primarily people who have transitioned post puberty which means they do have male bone density, male wingspan, Facts. male hand Facts. size, feet size, lung capacity. All of these things are going against women, biological women, when trans women start Stick to... Stick up in. Um, this is what I'm saying too. If you're a trans woman, which means you have the benefit of growing up as a man before you transition, yeah, your, your, um, your bone density is, is stronger than a female. The lung, as as a young lady said, the lung the lungs capacity capacity is also bigger. Bigger are hands, while the shoulders, bigger feet. So we are stronger, faster, and in in, in all physicality. Not every single man. This is this exception to the rule. We have a few women that can outpace a man in certain things, but majority, there's a 98 percent of men have an advantage of a woman in sports, regardless of um age group or size so she's better than that so even though if you take hormone blockers it still does not prevent it, it does not break down your, your bone density it does not break down your muscle mass but it does cut the testosterone level that's it so that doesn't negate you to ch trample over into the female sport and dominate it because of the advantage you have basically their spaces, their sports, and compete against them. Uh, and, and this is really concerning for me. I think for me, it's not a question of whether or not trans women can compete in sports. It's a question of how can we change the institution of sports in this country to make it equitable and to create more Why would we do that for the fair, um, a minute for percentage of the, of like the population? Makes no sense. Like, what is your relationship to sports been? I don't think you have to have a direct relationship to sports to realize that women are being affected. Must change the whole sporting industry because of few people. Makes no sense. You're exceptions, not the rule. The quality of outcome, which is what equity is saying. There's a reason that uh, women's sports are are less funded and less watched than men's sports because men seem to excel athletically. They seem to press the bounds of athleticism way farther than. Um, stick up in as you say with with female sports and men's sports. Men's sports are more enjoyable, not because we are man, uh, misogynistic, it's just because in, for instance, basketball, men can dunk, men will run faster, women don't. In tennis, men serve the ball much faster than the females do. In basketball, in baseball, same thing, with, you can talk to 100 and 203 miles per hour. Females don't, I think the highest they play, they, they, um, they can pitch is like 80 miles or maybe 70. In soccer, <laughs> we don't have to go in soccer because if you watch, you had a, uh, recently you had a, a 16 year old, under 16 team beat the, the women's national team. And you have retired older guys beat national team as well. So in any sport, in any genre you go, we are much more efficient in sports. It's just physical strength and blue force that occurs. We are men. We now exist on a slippery slope. If it's female sports, is it then female locker rooms? Is it then female prisons, which we're now seeing uh, becoming yep, an issue here in a California? Female prisoner, I hear about some issue recently. Inmates are being put in female facilities because they identify as women. We have to and get a few society. inmates pregnant, a biological male, transgender, transgender woman, woman. get locked up in the woman prison and breed off a couple of them. At the expense of biological women. I, I just want to start with an example. Um, this is about how big I was in junior high school and, and early high school. I used to be able to walk up to a V8 engine block, pick it up off the floor, and set it on the table. And if I was in powerlifting, you'd be a monster. That amount of, uh, I mean, that advantage was just unbelievable. I've been on hormones for 15 years. 
Did it weaken me? Absolutely. Did my you know my bone density really hasn't changed? My muscle muscular hasn't changed. And this is not a binary question. There's a lot of nuances involved. I, I just want to ask a question. Stick up in. See, I, I like that's not that this transfer this trans woman. He's again because he's a biological male. He thinks logically. He don't think emotionally. That's why he's saying when he was in school, he could lift up an engine block and put it on a desk. He can still do it, but even though he's on arm once for 15 years, and this is proof in front of the other trans person, which he, um, this other trans person won't accept. He bone density didn't change. His muscle mass didn't change, as she said. So it's not me saying this. I would know. It's a trans person sitting across and a trans person telling her that nothing changes when they go on arm hormone blockers. It, 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 you get a, a little bit weak. It weakens, it weakens you a tad bit, but not to a level where you're going to affect you physically. So, I, I, um, this trans person is, is um, it's reasonable. They are really, it's, it's reasonable. Not like the other one is more argumentative, don't have facts, not just talking for talking sake, basically. For what you were saying, can you throw out some statistics? No, I should bring up stats. Don't you, need you don't need stats for sports. So and there's so much stats for sports and data. There's even trans activists who agree with exactly what I'm saying. And your hormones can change, right? Yeah. And even she just yeah, I don't, I don't that. Said it. her bone density did not change uh, in, in going on hormones and changing these things. Yeah. And we can see it in sports as we're watching them. Leah Thomas is a great example. Perfect so example, Leah Thomas. The statistics, we're not doing enough of the work. And let's also be clear. Let's also what? be clear. There are some cisgender that, women. The world runs off stats. Of testosterone as well. And so we really have to unpack it from all different sides here. Can you produce statistics about the bone density of biological men and how it nice changes upon She's being hormones and Let whether or not it levels out to biological women? I actually cannot because when I would think of those statistics, I would think it was BS. To be quite honest with you, because what? the reality of it is. Stick up in, didn't he? She does ask the same question, if you don't have stats, that's mean we can't have the conversation because they didn't do, do, do enough work. Now she's asking the same question, she, give me your stats, proving hormone blockers weaken or weakens a person to the level of bone density and muscle mass. Now you're going to say, oh, I don't believe in stats, and they are crap, so what good for you is not good for the other, per the other, the other person, so again, this is feelings, emotion. This is not logic. This is the need to be right. To push my narrative on you, you have to accept it. And I will take any facts and twist it around to fit my narrative and then force it on your children. This is this is not a debate. She's not debating. We could talk about statistics and the research all day long. See? But it's about experience. We're going to be no, just flip it. You know, no, no more stuff. No, no, she's talking about experience. When we look at cisgender women who produce high levels of testosterone and who have been kicked out of sports, mm -hmm. one, one chick I've been kicked out of sports, one, something that they biologically cannot that I know of. Then what are we really talking about? South African well, chick from. Um, about, I mean, data and that is overwhelming, and we're talking about what is also we're capable of seeing with our, our human eyes. I think it's very clear that if you compare maybe you to the rest of us, there is going to be a strength difference. There's going to be a mental density difference. But you're just saying that you don't know until we, can, we physically. We all know this. That's why they have weight class. Perceiving and assuming just because I look a certain way, that's not fair. Me and her can look. The, we can look. Completely different, different weight class. She's stronger than me. I agree, but she's, 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 she's way lighter than you, so they won't put in the same, in the same field. We don't know that until you actually do it. I said that I was having a study that's been done. It's been done. Multiple, multitudes of times. But we're only going on assumption at this point. What assumption? We have facts, we have data. When we see it, maybe it's the news cycle that I watch, but I see it a lot. I see it quite often where they're showing. Um, trans women beating, I mean, I'm by far. Yeah, Leah Thompson yeah, dominating the female, like swimming the cyclist the girl, sport. cyclist guy that becomes a cyclist, sport. trans woman, beating everybody when he was losing big time in the, in the men. In my opinion, twist God's design, and when you go <laughs> against God's design, you create these problems that you wouldn't have. If Stick up in. This is the part I don't like with debates. When debates started, when debates going on, when people bringing Christianity into it. Christianity have nothing to do with this conversation. This is the way they, what they are talking about um, gender, sex, and sports. 
what does God have to do with anything with this conversation? This is the there's two things I don't like with it. Trans transgender people forcing their narrative on you and then Christians bringing God into every conversation they're having. Use facts and data. Forget about religion for a minute. Religion has nothing to do with this. It's not the place, it's not the time. That's just my take on that. We're going against what God intended. I'm going to take your side a little bit on that. And let me say one more thing, and I'm supporting you on this one. There are, I mean, there's a great deal of of women that and actually there was a lady in the last olympics that they actually disqualified yeah it was one two on one androgen what of hundreds of, to of, of to people down to a female level like i said this is not a, a binary yes or no question and and the whole idea of messing with what you know god puts up yeah don't you know, bring that to put me up okay if you want to take that um you know and i had this conversation with a very uh, religious man in san diego and he was like, oh, I don't quite know how to deal with that. Ooh, where did he that come from? That way. But he didn't make a lot of the people transition. <laughs> I understand. Know, but God yeah, also understands my yeah, take religion. I don't want to do religion. I don't want to talk about facts. In my life. God already knew I was going to be trans when God put me here. So I don't, I think, it's fair. I don't think it's fair when yeah. people yeah. dip and dab. Your relationship with God is personal. Yes. I agree with this yeah, trans woman on this one. Don't don't, don't bring in do God in this. It's a personal thing. Religion can't religion, religion into our debate. God still blesses me as a trans woman. Keep your God belief to yourself, and I keep woman. mine. God is embodied in me as a trans person. I don't think it's fair again when we judge people's personal relationship with God. Gender identity. That's the only sensible thing I said all the time. It was this whole debate. To a God that loves all. Gender dysphoria. Anyway, I said I wanna go into that. Um we'll stop it there. So um again like I said this the the trans the black trans the girl is not there to debate or to open up her mind or to convince anyone. She's there to just argue and make a point and what this is what this is and this is how it's gonna be like and the other one, the the older the older the older one of the glasses, the trans woman. That one is more Facts base is more um logic is more open and is more not more is less del just less delusional than the other one and the uh, and the one the shorter one in the middle and uh, um, she she barely speaks so I don't think she have much on the topic because maybe she don't want to contradict herself like the other one is doing keep contradicting herself about um stats and then uh, when when she gets stats she don't want it she she don't believe in stats she wanna talk about experience I wanna show her experience. She don't want to say experience, she want to say it's, it's a feeling, so it's not the debate she's looking for. Anyway, you don't know what it is, it's a Washington Exxon podcast. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. You don't know. Peace, one love, boom, I'm out.